guys, welcome back to my channel and for today's video is another exciting uh Today's video is another exciting video. Uh -huh, redundant. But obviously from the title I am going to do I'm not gonna I'm not gonna call this a makeup tutorial because you know I'm not a makeup artist <laughs> But I'm going to settle for a makeup demo. So I'm going to do a makeup demo using FNS cosmetics products I'm not gonna call this a first impressions or a one brand makeup demo or makeup tutorial because I didn't really acquire a lot of FNS but I'm going to use whatever I have uh, today. Look how much I love their eyeshadows. I have six. No, 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 no. I have seven. No, six. I have eight. <laughs> so I have eight of their uh, tons of eyeshadows. God, I wish we could have all of them. So without further ado, let's get into the makeup itself, please. Oh, by the way, before we proceed, let me give you an update with uh, about my giveaway. I have read almost all of the comments as of today. But one thing I'm telling you guys, don't ask for my skincare routine because look at my skin. It's so not perfect. I'm gonna do a skincare routine once I achieve like a perfect, flawless skin. But right now... Uh -uh. And please do continue leaving your comments at that video of mine. I'm gonna link it up here, my giveaway, my first ever giveaway. <laughs> so first product I'm going to use is their primer. And it says here, a lightweight lucid makeup base that flawlessly minimizes pores and fine lines. It is formulated to give a silky smooth finish for easy makeup blend. That's a lot of promise. Oh, oh God. <laughs> It has a semi silicone feeling to it. Anyway, um, it's okay. I'm not really a fan of silicone primer, but hey, if it gives like amazing results, why not? Oh guys, so bright outside. Oh, hello, my lighting, good guys. I'm so sorry. So I'm just gonna let my primer set a little bit, probably for a minute. And while waiting for that, I'm going to make Bawa smooth my eyebrows. For foundation, um, they have a lot of choices for foundation. They have powder foundation. I'm not sure if they have stick foundation though. I, hmm, hmm. But I chose to get the uh, BB cream. Their BB cream because I'm a sucker for BB cream. I love BB cream. So it says here an all-in-one cosmetic breakthrough. Ooh, breakthrough that has the properties of foundation to give your face a seamless coverage concealer to flawlessly cover all blemishes mm. okay moisturizer to keep your face from dryness and UV protection to protect your skin against harmful rays from the sun okay let's see maybe I should shake it huh? uh, oh by the way I got the shade oriental so what I'm gonna do is ooh. So what I always do, you guys, I always warm it up at the back of my hand. Foundation, CC cream, BB cream. So am I gonna use my fingers or a beauty blender? Since it's a BB cream, I'm going to use my fingers. Let's see if it's gonna cover the blemishes that I have. It evens out my skin tone. But I can still see my blemishes. Maybe if we add a little more. I think this BB cream is perfect if you want to have a natural looking face. You know, if you want your skin to look evened out without looking cakey or without looking too much, you know, fully made up. Let's add some more so under eye circles. I think this BB cream would definitely work for you ladies out there. Na makinis na. And minimal blemishes. But if you have huge pimple or pimples, I think you need a heavier coverage. Because this is like light to medium. So I'm just gonna let it set for probably a minute. And then I'm going to try to add one more layer and we will see if it's gonna cover the rest of my blemishes. Because obviously, I'm not gonna cover all Okay, so a minute has passed. Ooh, greasing! So I'm going to use a dabbing motion because for me, that's like the most effective way 
to apply concealers. So for my under eyes, I'm going to use a damp beauty blender. So my under eye circles keep on creasing. <laughs> uh, I'm going to use their eyebrow pencil. This is, oh, this is their call eye pencil in the shade Tawny. Um, I do believe this is for the eyebrows. It's waxy. Yeah. I like it. See the transformation? It's so pigmented. It's easy to apply. So I'm not really an expert in doing eyebrows, you guys. I'm so sorry. Of course, we have to brush it up. Okay, so now that I look like Snooki Serna from the Blue Sun Itin movie. Was it her? Yeah. I think that was her. I am going to set uh, the BB cream using the dual powder. Is this a dual? No, two-way cake. And this is in the shade Organza. And this is probably like the cheapest, not in quality, but in price. The cheapest dupe for MAC powders. I'm just going to use... Uh, I honestly don't know what you call this blush. Blush. <laughs> so I'm just going to use this to set... Ah! Look at that crease though! Go away crease. I love this powder so much because it's really gonna keep you matte all day long. Of course, you need some touch-ups every now and then. So for bronzing and contouring, I am so sorry you guys. I wasn't able to buy a powder for bronzing and for contouring because my favorite powder na pang bronze and contour is in the shade Raha. Raja, Raha, Raha, yeah. And it was out of stock the day I went to the department store to purchase all these products that I have. And I don't want to buy another product that is not Raha because that was my favorite. That was that was it. For the sake of this video, I'm going to use a different um contouring powder. I'm not gonna say the brand. Okay, so let's proceed with my favorite part, the eyeshadows. And honestly, you guys, uh, aside from the powder, their eyeshadows are amazing. Good quality, super pigmented, easy to blend. So I have Mocha Java, Dark Caramel, Coffee Arabica. This one is my favorite. This is in shade Powder Clay. If you always watch my videos, you know that I have used this like a couple of times already. I have Ruby's Tone. I have Honey Glitter. This is Flamed Tangerine. And this is Nude Blush. So first thing I'm gonna do is get my Powder Clay shade and use a blending brush. And then that's what I'm going to apply all over my crease and this will serve as the transition shade. Next I'm going to do is get my dark caramel shade. It's just a typical dark brown. And then I am going to put that at the outer V all the way to the crease. So I'm just using this kind of brush, by the way. It's just a flat eyeshadow brush. And then next thing I am going to do is get my Coffee Arabica shade. Using the same brush, I am going to apply this outer crease all the way to the middle. Yes. It doesn't have to be perfect now because we're gonna blend it later. Let the blending begin. So I'm just adding more near my lash area. So the key to success, you guys, is to blend, blend, blend. And then I'm going to get more of the Coffee Arabica, but this time I'm really gonna focus sa lash area. The next I'm gonna do whatever I apply on top, I'm gonna apply at the bottom as well. So first up is the powder clay. Oh yeah, baby. And then I'm gonna go straight to the uh, coffee arabica. And then apply it over here. Next thing I'm going to do is use their eyeliner and I have here their long last waterproof liquid eyeliner. Ooh, waterproof. 
Ooh, it's a felt tip pin. It's quite difficult to apply uh, on the areas with full pack on eyeshadow. So I think if you want to use this, it's good for uh, days where you're not wearing too much eyeshadows. Eh, it's hard to apply. So since I don't have any uh, black eyeliner from the FS Cosmetics, I'm going to use a different one. So I'm just going to use this eyeliner to tight line. I'm also going to line my waterline. Okay, so I already put on my falsies. Oh, do you see that? So next I'm going to use is the Masquerade. It's a volumizing mascara. It doesn't say if it's waterproof or... Ooh. Let's see if it's gonna thicken the lashes that I already have. Oh, wow. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> For the blush, I am going to use the uh, um, powder blush. <laughs> and this is in the shade Twinkle Tan. It looks like this, very pretty. I'm just gonna deliberately swipe my brush. It's like a blush and a highlighter in one. Good thing I got like the lightest shade. So I'm using my sleek highlighter since F and S does not have like a legit, you know, highlighter. Now for the lips. So I have here the True Light Liquid Lipstick and this is in the shade uh, Glossy Peony. I have one in red but it's... It's stuck up somewhere, so I'm not meant to get it. Oh, by the way, it has a built-in light, LED light. So this is perfect if you need to retouch your lips and you're in a, you're in a bar or in a dim lit place. This is not matte. This is pretty glossy. The color is pretty, but it doesn't suit my eye makeup. Another thing I have here is their lipstick. And check this out, guys. It has a mirror. Check this out. So this is FS Luscious Lipstick in shade Matte Twig. FS, F and S. And I'm not sure if this goes well with the eyeshadow that I did, but this is the only lip product I have left. Ah, oh, pretty. It is so, it is so pigmented and it's very creamy, but not as creamy as the creamy mattes from Maybelline. And it's not a bad thing. And voila! This is the final makeup look, you guys. I hope you enjoyed my makeup demo featuring FNS Cosmetics. Out of all the types of FNS products that I have, my favorite is this matte lipstick. It is so matte. And it's so creamy. And I don't think this is gonna dry my lips. And I feel like it makes my teeth whiter. <laughs> I love the powder, of course. And I love the blush. And of course, I love the eyeshadows. What I don't love is the BB cream. This I like if I want to look um, presentable on a day-to-day -day basis without looking fully made up. But for a super glam look, uh, I don't think this will work. Like I said, I'm not a super fan of silicone-y um, primers. I like the gel type or you know the liquidy type. So, but this is okay. This is okay. The primer. I'm not a fan of the long-lasting waterproof liquid eyeliner just because it didn't uh, apply well on top of a Va Va Voom eyeshadow, so yeah. Mascara is okay, I'm not too crazy about it, but it does a good job in volumizing my lashes or my fake lashes. <laughs> All the products, the names, and the prices, I'm gonna list it down below. So yeah, that's it for today's video. Thank you, thank you so much for watching, you guys! And I will see you next time. Bye-bye!